2,000 subscribers. This is a really good thing, you guys. And let me tell you why. Because we need more passionate, amazing VR developers out there like you guys making VR experiences and games. So, with that, Google has recently released 0 0.8 and 0 0.81 for the cardboard SDK. And with that, you know what? It's not even called cardboard anymore. Now it is called Google VR. And that, of course, comes along with the announcement of the, Day D the Daydream controller. You can set up a development kit if you have a Nexus 6P. But for now, I will talk about the Unity 0 0.8 updates and the 0 0.81 updates. They released 0 0.8 here. And then they released 0 0.81. So let's go over some of the changes. The auto drift correction option has been removed because the gyro drift correction is now an intrinsic feature of the Google VR NDK. All right, that's cool. Better drift correction. Here's some uh, upgrade instructions if you're updating. Uh, there's some fixes. The motion-based idle detector was too eager to detect idleness. And the screen brightness no longer goes to 100% in VR mode. So the additions are the support for the Daydream controller, a new demo scene to test the controllers in there, um, and there's an audio.git output data method on gvr.audio source. You know what? That's really funny because if you go to issues, there is an issue that I opened up here that says unable to get out output data on cardboard audio source. And I talk about my problems with this. And Google developer SMDOL replied, they told me, hey, we talked about the problem. And guess what? When the additions came out in the release notes, they added a get output data method to the Google VR audio source. You guys, we're doing good work here. We're helping out Google so find problems, solve problems, and they're actually getting implemented. And you can see that right here on the addition. This is thanks to all of us right here who have been contributing and learning VR stuff. So thanks to you guys. Cardboard has been rebranded. Google VR. The name prefix for the prefabs is now GVR. So the cardboard class in particular is called GVR Viewer. The singleton instance of cardboard.stk is now GVR Viewer.instance. So a good example of that is when you used to get cardboard.stk.triggered for when you push the button on your viewer click now it's gvr viewer dot instance dot triggered the formally split sdk and demo unity package have been combined into google vr for unity dot unity package there's a couple of issues ensure that there's only one gvr viewer in your vr scene and i've seen a lot of comments on this on the channel so Starting with Unity 5.34 P2, a bug in Unity prevents rendering world space UGUI canvases into a render texture. Since render textures are used for distortion correction, this affects all canvases in VR. So if you're having problems in and you're using 5.34 P2, what people have been doing is rolling back to a different version I got 5.34 F1, and that's working fine. The other thing that has been updated is the input system. So that actually happened in 0 0.6. Support for gaze-based interaction, and then there was a fix for it in 0 0.7. So between everything in the fix in 0 0.7 let's talk about the gaze input and how how we can work with that so if we look at 0 0.6 it says support for gaze based interaction either with UGUI event system or independently of it so i'm going to show you how to do it with the UGUI event system and then i'm going to show you a quick example of how to do it independent of the unity input system so we got an empty scene here First thing you need to do is take out the main camera, but I'm not going to do it. I'm going to just show you what happens if you if you don't. First thing, let's create a plane, and I'm going to...
going to put that at 000. And if you go to Google VR prefabs, you're going to find the GVR main. Now this used to be called cardboard main. <clears throat> this is the your starting your best prefab to start with 1.5 is a good position it seems like for a person's head so you got GVR main head main camera and if we hit play what's gonna happen is it's gonna go crazy because we forgot to delete main camera let's try that again perfect we got this work there's no sky you go to your main camera and you can see clear flag solid color on the left, the right. Let's just change that to skybox and hit play. There we go. We're all up to date. Everything's great. But what about input? I'm going to create a cube. And it has a box collider on it. And I want my, I want to interact with it. <laughs> it's a child. It's a child of my camera. So let's fix that. We want to get, we want to interact with the cube. First of all, I don't even have a dot in the middle of my screen. So if you go to prefabs UI, you're going to find the Google VR dot. And so with that GVR dot prefab, if you move it onto your main camera, so it becomes a child underneath the main camera, left the main camera right that is where it belongs and now I have my dot but it doesn't interact with the cube so for interaction you're going to want to add a event trigger now it has an event trigger we should be able to interact with it right no, because an event trigger communicates with an event system. So you need to go to UI and click event system. Let's interact with the box. It still doesn't work. Of course it doesn't because we haven't added the gaze input module. And I'm going to move it up so that it's the first priority of input. And it still doesn't interact with the box. And the reason why is because the main camera needs to have a physics raycaster. And the box needs to be on one of these layers. Well, obviously, everything covers that. So let's, once and for all, interact with the box. Everything is working great in the new 0.81 SDK with interaction. If you don't want to use it, hey, I don't want to use the Unity event system. I want to delete that. And on my box, I don't want to use any event triggers. That's fine. You can do that. It's really, it's really easy. All you have to do is say, my amazing box because you have to create a custom script for it so that it can be interacted with and here's my script my amazing box all you need to do is say hey extend mono behavior and I GVR gaze responder now right here we got an error and so I'm just gonna say put my mouse over this say show potential fixes and it says I need to implement this interface let's implement the interface and it's throwing these not implemented exceptions I'm just gonna delete that we've extended eye gaze responder or implemented it so we now have these functions on gaze enter, on gaze exit, and on gaze trigger. So if I say on gaze enter, I'm just going to say hey, debug.log gaze entered.
There we go. And let's hit play. But we don't interact with the box. Why is that? My script implements the gaze responder, but because we've removed the advent system and the gaze input module, we have to get some way for the camera to hook into those events. We do that by going to the main camera and adding a component called GVR Gaze. GVR Gaze is the script that needs to be attached to the main camera if you're not, if you don't want to use an event system. It, it wants a pointer object. That pointer object is your dot. So I'm going to populate that field and I'm going to press play. Okay, now if I move my dot over the box, it responds and it's logging the gaze enter. Okay, well that covers the Google Cardboard 0 0.8, 0 0.81 updates, which is now Google VR. And some of the issues that have to do with the input system and how to use it. So hope that helps out. Thanks for watching. Give it a like. Share it with your fellow VR developers. And tomorrow, we got a video covering auto walk movement with the cardboard button. With the Google VR button. Stay tuned.